Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell from InMotionREI.com and I want to give you two outlook tips that I think you'll find extremely useful. Number one, let's talk about managing that inbox, keeping our items under 100, always, always, always. Of course, we talk about categories in class. Don't want to get into that right now, but I do want to show you something that I want you to do. When you get an email, first of all, make sure your to-do bar is showing. I know a lot of people don't have their to-do bar showing, and I'm going to tell you why it's very, very useful to have it up. Go to View, and you're going to go to To-do bar, and make sure that it's showing normal. And therefore, you have it off to the right as I have it right here. I like to have my reading pane below that. That's one of the things I like to do. And when I get an email message, when it reminds me of an appointment, then all I need to do is take that particular email, and this is something that I figured I need to do. I need to go ahead and follow up with Kimberlyn Smith. I'm going to drag this to, let's say I need to do that by Thursday the 3rd. So now I can create an appointment with Kimberlyn, invite her, anyone else that needs to attend, and I have the date already set up, start and end time. I don't have to retype it. So that way I have her contact information in the appointment and so forth. So I can save and close and I am good to go. All right. Now, in addition to that, I also want to make sure that if there's a task I need to do, let's say this creates a task, then all I really need to do is hit my insert key and watch what happens. Let's drag down and look at our to-do items. And as soon as I hit the insert key, there it goes. Now that creates a task for me. I didn't have to type up the task. Simply by hitting the insert key when I landed on the email, I was able to have that added to my task and to do. And there it is down there. That's your first tip. And I've got one more quick tip I want to show you that I think you'll find extremely useful. And that's using your notes feature. I find a lot of people don't use notes. I love them. I'm going to tell you why. Number one, they stay on your screen. Let me demonstrate that. But before I do, let me make sure you know, notes are right down here. You can see on your navigation pane, if you hover over these little four or five dots, you can actually drag it up or down. You can show more or less menu options. And you drag it up enough till you see notes. That's one way to do it. You can also click the arrow key and you can actually add more buttons such as notes to your navigation pane. But when you get an email that comes in, as an example, let's click, here's an email. It reminds me that I better do something. All I need to do is highlight the contents of that email and I'm highlighting it from my reading pane, drag it to notes, and now there you go. I have a note that comes up it matches up with an with action item that's in the email without me having to type it. Now, all I need to do is click and I can categorize it. That would be an Emotion REI task. And the beautiful thing about this, even when I close Outlook, that note is always there to remind me there's something that I need to do. It's there until I actually close it out. I hope this tip helps and I hope to see you in Outlook class this month. We've got a webinar as well as a live CE training class on the 29th. Hope to see you there.